There is going to be this meeting between John Laporta and Xavi Hernandez within these next few days. They're going to be talking about whether Xavi Hernandez wants to continue at FC Barcelona. Could there be a chance for Xavi to reconsider? For sure, this meeting is going to be held after the Clásico. Most likely, it's going to be held on Tuesday or Wednesday. I believe that Xavi Hernandez will assess what happened in this season and whether Barcelona performed at a good level or not and then say, okay, I'm going to stay or I will leave. Ideally for me, I want to maintain Xavi Hernandez. I have said this many times times before and I'm going to continue to say it. It does not matter what the end result versus PSG was and it's not going to matter whether Barcelona lose against Real Madrid or not. It means nothing. I do not care. Xavi Hernandez should be staying no matter the result and we continue to reinforce our squad for the next summer. There's no reason for him to exit and for the people who say, Kevin, I want Xavi out. Okay, fine. If you want Xavi out, give a solution and that solution should be whether that next coach can bring better results than Xavi Hernandez. You cannot just say Xavi out and then say, I have no other solution. I don't know what other coach to bring in that can succeed Xavi Hernandez. Because if you don't bring a solution after you do say Xavi out, then that is just being toxic. That's it. That, that is just disrupting the environment and the atmosphere that Barcelona is trying to build. You are literally just hating for no reason. You have to give a real solution. And I'll be happy to have these conversations with people here and talk about, okay, you want Xavi out and you want this manager. Okay, that makes sense. I would like to have conversations like that, but everybody just says Xavi out. Xavi should be leaving because he just sucks. Like, dude, come on, let's have real conversations. So us as a collective, right, this fan base, we should go out and say Xavi should stay, no matter what happens against Real Madrid on Sunday night. And let's continue to build Rome, because as it has always been said, Rome was never built in one day. So let's just say worst case scenario happens. Xavi Hernandez says, I want to leave no matter what. I'm tired of being here. You can't do anything in this club. I just want to take a one year rest because I'm simply tired now and I want to be with my family. Let's just let's just say that is the worst case scenario. I want to introduce another option and that is Rafa Marquez. I never really got the chance to talk about Rafa Marquez because there's been so many other options that we have been talking about like Tuco, Hansi Flick, Nagelsmann, Pep Guardiola but I finally do want to speak about Rafa Marquez and if you guys do not know who Rafa Marquez is he is currently the coach of Barcelona Athletic and he is also a legend to this club. He was one of the captains of Barcelona about 18 to 19 years ago. He did play with Ronaldinho, Puyol, Deco and he won two Champions Leagues with FC Barcelona. One before Pep Guardiola and one after Pep Guardiola. Now, if you look at his coaching history, you can see that he does not really have a lot of coaching history. He became a sporting director at Atlas back in 2018. He then went on to be a youth coach for RSD Alcala for another year. And then strangely after that, Barcelona appointed Rafa Marquez to be the coach of Barcelona Athletic, even though he only had one year of coaching experience and within the youth leagues. And so at that time, many were saying, oh my God, like this guy has has no experience. He can't be doing well at Barcelona Athletic. It's going to be impossible because he has, again, no experience. He does not know what it's like to be coaching top Barcelona youngsters. And he did replace Sergi Barjuan. But let's not lie here. Ever since he did take over, back on July 14th, 2022, it has almost been two years. Within these two years, he has done amazing. He has had a very solid tenure. Currently, Barcelona Athletic are in second place within their division. He's getting the best out of many youngsters like Mikael Falle, Mbake, Hector Fort, Casado, Pau Prim, no Noah Darvich, Mark Gui. He is one of the reasons why Xavi Hernandez has been blessed with so many great youngsters is because Rafa Marquez knows how to nurture and coach these youngsters very well, as he should because that is his role. But here's a problem. Back in February of this year, the Barcelona sporting director, Deco, did rule out Rafa Marquez as an option for the first team. And he also said that I suggest for the club to look out there for other coaches who are much more experienced. So I'm like, okay, which one is it? Is Rafa Marquez a senior? as an option or is he ruled out by many of the people that work within Barcelona? I'm going to assume that the way that they have viewed Rafa Marquez is slowly changing in a positive way to maybe appoint him one day. Like what if one of the reasons why Barcelona are looking at Rafa Marquez as an option is because they believe that their choices are getting very low. Like what if Hansi Flick says no? What if Tuchel says no? What if other coaches out there do say no because of X or Y reasons? Look at how Nagelsmann was one of the options for Barcelona and then he just signed a renewal with the German national team. Maybe that could be the reason why the opinions are starting to change. And I know that many are going to be saying that they're nervous on appointing Rafa Marquez. And I really do understand that, bro. Like, I do get it because yes, in some way he is very in inexperienced. But how many times have we been wrong? Look at how the fan base looked at Pep Guardiola when he first started. Look at Luis Enrique when he first started. Look at Xavi Hernandez when he first started. Yes, you may say, no, Kevin, uh, with Luis Enrique, the reason why he was successful is because he coached a team like Celta within La Liga. 
which makes sense. Yeah, but at the, at the end of the day, he never really coached a big time team with a lot of experience. He was never in those big tournaments before he got to Barcelona. And yet he still turned things around at Barcelona in his first year. So many of the times we have been wrong. Maybe we could be wrong about Rafa Marquez simply because we think that he is just too inexperienced. If he does get appointed though, I want to make one thing very clear. It's going to be very important, right? Like if he is given the job, it's going to be very important for him to know how to maximize the player's level. Like we know that he knows how to find talent. We have seen that many times and we know that he knows how to develop players in their early years. We're seeing that right now. Rafa Marquez is going to be inheriting a great squad, just like Pep Guardiola did back in 2007 and 2008. He's going to embrace a team full of youngsters, aka the jackpot. Pep Guardiola knew exactly what he was doing by looking at these youngsters and he said, okay, I know how to get the best out of these players and bring them to a different level. Rafa Marquez is going to have to do the exact same thing. I'm telling you right now, like if we want somebody that, that can succeed Xavi Hernandez, he needs to do exactly this, is to level up the players and give them different capabilities. Look at how Pep Guardiola told Messi back in 2007 and 2008. And he said, hey, look, I know that you have been playing as a left winger, sometimes as a right winger, but you can play central. You can play as a false nine. You're not just a player that takes the ball and runs down the line. You can be a key pass type of player, the final pass type of player. You can do that. And I'll show you how. And so look at how Guardiola converted Messi into a player with much more capabilities. Xavi Hernandez told Gavi not too long ago. And he said, hey, look, you played as a left winger. You played as a central midfielder, but you can play as a CDM. You can play as a pivot. You can play right next to Frankie de Jong. No problem. You know how to organize play. And so Gavi did. Gavi played amazing as a CDM earlier this season. And so you see, right? You see the consistencies that is going on. Rafa Marquez has to do the exact same thing by giving these players different traits, making them become better and the best version of themselves. Also, I would like to point out, I believe that he is also a strong option to Barcelona because what if they're starting to see that maybe Barcelona's finances may not be good in the summer. They're going to get better, but not at the level where they can say, we can sign Sylvie Mendy, Nico Williams. We can also sign maybe Florian Verts or whatever. Maybe that is just not in the cards. Maybe that cannot be our option for this summer. And because of that, because we might be so limited, maybe Barcelona is going to be saying, maybe Barcelona are saying, we need to find somebody that is good with the youth to compensate for our lack of finances to reinforce our squad. What if Barcelona find themselves in a situation where they cannot strengthen the CDM spot and they're going to have to look at Pau Prim or Alex Garrido or Casado? All three of them are CDMs. To Rafa Marquez, this is going to be no problem because he currently coaches these three players and he'll, and he'll know how to bring them into the first team. He's like a bridge between both teams. Very similar again to Pep Guardiola. And so you see, right, I can, I can also see the potential on what we could do. But at the end of the day, right, I, I just want to make this very clear. I know that Rafa Marquez could become a great, great coach for Barcelona. But why switch a certified diamond for a potential diamond, right? So let me say that again. Why switch a certified diamond for a potential diamond? The certified diamond is Xavi Hernandez and the potential diamond is Rafa Marquez. Why make that gamble? This is why I do say, right? Like Joan Laporta has to do everything to convince for Xavi to stay. He is the only answer. Is with me saying this mean that I'm trying to put hate on Rafa Marquez and that Rafa Marquez has no future at Barcelona? No, I think that Rafa Marquez does have a future at Barcelona. He is perfect for Barcelona Athletic. He is the perfect coach to nurture these youngsters and to, and to have them ready for the first team when Xavi Hernandez comes calling. I really do appreciate Rafa Marquez's work and I'm going to forever respect that. Tony Juan Marti also stated that Joan Laporta himself understands that Rafa Marquez's option is the most logical for several reasons. He is already under contract. He knows the club. He speaks Spanish and many other things. So I believe that Rafa Marquez is an option, but not in the highest pecking order. I still think that Hansi Fleek is above Rafa Marquez, but just below Xavi Hernandez. Hansi Fleek will for sure be called if Xavi Hernandez says, I want to leave no matter what. I'm sorry, John Laporta, but I just want to leave. We all know how ready Hansi Fleek is today, right? He knows how to speak Spanish. He has been learning how to speak Spanish over the past year. He's currently watching every Barcelona game and he has been watching every Barcelona game since like last year. He has also been studying many playing methods that he can implement into Barcelona, analyzing certain players and see how he can maybe rearrange them. He's doing a lot of studying. He's really preparing for this job. But like I've said, it is all up to what Xavi Hernandez wants. If it's not Xavi, Hansi. If it's not Hansi, maybe Tuchel. If it's not Tuchel, Rafa Marquez. So that is going to be wrapping up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.